Welcome to a lesson on the math of medicine. Consider any drug, and the recommended dosage varies based on several factors, such as age, weight, and the degree of illness of a person. Hospitals and medical dispensaries do not stock every possible needed concentration of medicines. Drugs that are delivered in liquid form for intravenous methods, in particular, can be easily adjusted to meet the needs of a patient. Whether administering anesthesia prior to an operation or administering a vaccine, calculation of the concentration of a drug is needed to ensure the desired amount of medicine is delivered. The formula to determine the volume needed of a drug in liquid form is a relatively simple formula. The volume needed is calculated based on the required dosage of the drug with respect to the concentration of the drug. For drugs in liquid form, the concentration is noted as the amount of drug per the volume of the solution that the drug is suspended in, which is commonly measured in grams per milliliter or milligrams per milliliter. Suppose a doctor writes a prescription for six milligrams of a drug, which a nurse calculates when retrieving the needed prescription from their secure pharmaceutical stored space. On the shelves, the drug is available in liquid form as two milligrams per milliliter. Each milliliter contains two milligrams of the drug, Therefore, to administer six milligrams of the drug, the nurse administers three milliliters, which is the volume of the prescription per single dose. This gives us the formula, the volume needed is equal to the medicine dosage amount times the rate in volume per amount of drug. Referring back to the example above, the prescription was for six milligrams, and the rate in volume per amount is one milliliter per two milligrams of the drug, Notice when multiplying, the milligrams simplify out, and we're left with six divided by two milliliters, or three milliliters, which is the volume for a single dose. A common calculation for the weight of a liquid drug is measured in grams of a drug per 100 milliliters of solution, and is also called the percentage weight by volume measurement, and labeled as the percent W slash V, or simply W slash V. As an example, how much sodium bicarbonate is there in a 250 milliliter solution of 7.5% weight by volume sodium bicarbonate? The 7.5 weight by volume indicates there's 7.5 grams of sodium bicarbonate in each 100 milliliters of the solution. And therefore, to determine how much sodium bicarbonate is in the 250 milliliters, we begin with 250 milliliters and we multiply by the rate of 7.5 grams per 100 milliliters. Notice milliliters simplify out, and now we multiply. We have 250 times 7.5 divided by 100 grams, which we can see is equal to 18.75 grams of sodium bicarbonate in the 250 milliliter solution. And now let's look at an example with pills. A doctor prescribes 26 milligrams of a drug to be taken orally per day, and pills are available in 6.5 milligrams. How many pills will be needed each day? We can use the same formula below. Instead of using volume though, we use the number of pills. Because the prescription is 26 milligrams, we begin with 26 milligrams, and then because each pill contains 6.5 milligrams, we multiply by the rate of one pill per 6.5 milligrams. Notice milligrams simplify out, leaving us with pills. Multiplying, we have 26 divided by 6.5 pills, which simplifies to four pills the patient needs to take four pills per day. Let's take a look at one more example. A patient is prescribed three milligrams per kilogram of a drug to be delivered intramuscularly divided into three doses per day. If the drug is available in 30 milligrams per milliliter and the patient weighs 60 kilograms, how many milliliters of the drug should be given per dose? Let's first determine the total amount of medicine the patient needs per day the prescription is for three milligrams per kilogram, and the patient weighs 60 kilograms, and therefore the daily amount is equal to three milligrams per one kilogram times 60 kilograms. Notice kilograms simplify out, and now we multiply, which gives us 180 milligrams per day. And now to determine the amount per dose, the total amount is divided into three doses per day, and therefore the amount per dose is equal to 180 divided by three milligrams, or 60 milligrams. And finally from here we can determine the volume needed per dose by beginning with 60 milligrams, and because the drug is available in 30 milligrams per milliliter, each milliliter contains 30 milligrams of the medicine, therefore we begin with 60 milligrams and multiply by the rate of one milliliter per 30 milligrams. 
Notice again, milligrams simplify out, and now we multiply, which gives us 60 divided by 30 milliliters, or two milliliters per dose. So once again, the patient should receive two milliliters per dose, meaning two milliliters three times a day. I hope you found this helpful.